We're backstage here in Las Vegas, and I'm joined by flyway champion Demetrius Johnson, who has a fight much sooner than I think a lot of people thought. So you're fighting in April against Wilson Hayes, a guy you were originally scheduled to fight back in last July. Talk to me about why the timing was right to fight Hayes in April. Uh, the timing was right, you know, the, the UFC and WMIMG, they like to announce fights uh, sooner than later, you know what I mean? Usually they like to announce it eight weeks, 12 weeks out, but I already knew that I was gonna be fighting on April 15th. I was uh, trying to fight on May 13th. Uh, but we weren't able to get that done. They gave it to Joanna Jacek and uh, Jessica Andrada. But April 15th seemed to work out perfect. You know, I've been training for three weeks already, make sure I'm in shape, just in case they were uh, going to get the green light for this fight. Right. So talk to me about this matchup with Hayes. This is a guy you were going to fight um, before you had a knee injury uh, last summer. So Wilson, known as a grappler, tough guy, coming off a win in Brooklyn. How do you assess him? Yeah, uh, Wilson Hayes has been around the game longer than I have. Uh, he's fighting at uh, 145, 135. Now he's at 125, fighting a little more his uh, natural weight, I would say. Uh, he's a tough guy, grinder, uh, great wrestler. Um, obviously, he's a grappler, so we're trying to go out there and make sure uh, we just take it to him. You say take it to him like you don't come out there and impress us every time. Every time you step in the octagon, it's more and more amazing. And you do things that we think, oh, he, he can't possibly get better than he is now. And you do. So where are we going to see the most improvement this time? You know, um, I, I'm starting to get back to my older roots of training. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, for a, a long time, you know, I focused so much energy and, and stress and effort into my cardio aspect. I'm um, in training, but now we're trying to uh, focus on a little something else, you know, more strength training, uh, more explosive, even though I am explosive. Uh, you know, I'm a genetically gifted as a, a cardio freak. So now <laughs> Matt's like, dude, we, we don't need to be doing this. I've been doing the same workout for three years straight, pushing my heart rate to 190 beats per minute, doing, that's just the cardio, not the actual fight training. So we're going to try to take a little bit away from that and put it more into uh, the fight training. Oh my God, a more explosive Mighty Mouse. I can't even imagine this. <laughs> But this is also going to be a history-making fight. You have potential to tie the record that Anderson Silva currently has right now for title defenses. How important is that for you? It's very important. I think it's important for any champion in the world. I mean, you know, Tyron Willie is going for a second title defense. Joanna Jacek, she's going for her third or fourth. Um, you know, it's always great to get the belt, but after that, you got to defend it, defend it, defend it. So that, that, it's very important. Before I let you go, I want to ask you, you know, with the Ultimate Fighter show, there has been an addition of some new talent onto the UFC roster in that 125-pound division. Are you enjoying seeing all these up-and-comers into the sport, into your weight class, and seeing the kind of talent that is now being brought into flyweight? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think uh, the flyweight division, the Tough 24 did an amazing, uh, amazing job. We got a lot of tough uh, competitors, you know, Eric Shelton, uh, Pantoja, Tim Elliott's back in the division. Uh, and, you know, the great coaches, Henry Cejudo, Joseph Benavides, they got to show their little personality, their feud against each other. Um, so I'm happy to see the divisions growing um, like it should be, and I think it's going to grow even better. Well, we cannot wait to see you back in the Octagon. Kansas City Mighty Mouse defense his belt there against Wilson Hayes. Thanks so much for your time, champ. Always. Thanks.